And how old is she? 10, 9, 10 years old. So Weenie Lard has decided to come back to YouTube. And like most YouTubers, he doesn't take responsibility for his actions. He blames all of his problems on mental illness and completely ignores the reason why he had to take a break in the first place. For those who are not up to speed, Mini Lad likes Mini Lads. The guy sent news towards a girl who was 16 years old. And these aren't just accusations. I'm not pulling an I'm Alex. He actually admitted this on Twitter. It's pretty broad, but it came out right after people were accusing him of sexual misconduct. The 16 year old at the the time is a girl named Hallie. Haley! Hallie and I actually got in contact with each other. The same thing with another girl named Laura. Both of them gave me consent to use their real names and to show DMs between them and Mini Lad. They told me quite a bit about how much of a horrible person he is. Craig manipulated both of these girls, and as a bonus, he sent his Mini Lad to Hallie. Out of all the people I've had sex with, I've been the biggest they've had. Well, Craig, when you're aiming for minors, your dick is going to automatically be considered big regardless. Not really something to brag about. Hallie came out years later and admitted to Craig sending her inappropriate texts. But apparently she wasn't the only girl who was sent pictures of his bulge. Another girl named Ashley claimed that she was sent inappropriate texts from Mini Lad. Another person who was involved is someone named Laura, who I also spoke to. Now keep in mind, before I talk about her involvement, I just want to say that she's just as much as a victim as the other girls because she was definitely manipulated and at the time this happened, Laura was a minor. So I don't want to hear all this shit from Mini Lad's fetus fan base that, oh, well, they should have known better. Mini Lad kind of had Laura I give the scoop on what's going on with the whole situation. You know, trying to find ways to cover his own ass. Laura told me the reason why she did it was because she felt sorry for him. And Mini Lad would constantly bring up how his mental illness made him sad and depressed and all this shit. You know, he's trying super hard to make her feel sorry for him so she does what he says. That's incredibly fucked up. To me, Laura's DMs kind of show the lack of genuineness coming from Craig. I mean, to his fan base, he's seen as this nice guy who just made a little oopsie. Now, me personally, strangely enough, I don't consider sending nudes to towards a minor, just an oopsie. And you know, neither does the US government, but I digress. Craig's main goal is to stay out of trouble. And uh, getting help just kind of comes second or doesn't even exist. Tell her about my suicide attempt so she feels bad for me. Now, Craig has actually made an argument towards why he shouldn't be deplatformed, but it's not for the reason you think, because Craig is actually a very nice person who doesn't care about himself, but only for his fans. According to Craig, if his YouTube channel were to be deleted, then it would ruin millions of people's lives, and it could potentially kill people. Craig, as someone who has received emails from fans who have claimed that my videos have helped them through their depression, I can still confidently say that if my YouTube channel were to suddenly be deleted, nobody is gonna fucking kill themselves. That's such a ludicrous and egocentric statement. Like, if your YouTube channel were to be deleted, nobody's gonna put a fucking toaster in the bathtub. Like, I, I don't understand how someone can think this. Will people be sad? probably, but it will last for a week at the most, and then they'll just find some other idiotic YouTuber who screams for views. Same with my channel. If my channel were to be deleted suddenly, people would probably be like, well, that kind of sucks. Oh, well, I'll just go back to watching Leafy or switch to Optimus. Craig, as a content creator, you are easily replaceable. You're the male sniper wolf, not Gandhi. I mean, I mean it's just ridiculous for him to claim that his channel being deleted would cause a suicide pact. I mean, no one gives a shit. So Craig recently disabled his Discord server. And apparently he did that because of raids. Which is definitely not true because people were exposing him in his own server so he freaked out. Not only that, but you have people like Laura who were instantly banned for saying, I can't believe Mini Lad is still being supported. And then she was instantly banned. Yeah, Mini Lad's Discord server is a lot like Pokemane's. If you show any sort of distaste for the Supreme Leader, then off to the gulags with you. One of those mods included a woman named Tay. And she was able to show everyone that Mini Lad doesn't really care about the people he screwed over. See, because he was very broad in his Twitter apology, many people in his fan base were harassing those who were involved in the situation. He knows if he specifies what he did, then no one would back him up. Maybe a few embryos, but most people would turn their back on him. And you know what? I don't blame him because someone like this doesn't deserve a platform. I mean, the reason why he's in this position is because he utilized his platform to do the things he did. Someone like that doesn't need that type of power. He doesn't deserve it. I'm not falling for this bullshit of the real reason why he left in the first place. I, I went on this mental health health journey. I realized that there's a lot going on in the world. Give me a fucking break. No, you were gone for over a month because you wanted people to forget about the bullshit that you did. Once people realize that the majority don't care slash don't know and Bransky working with me, it'll just die faster.
before Craig's Discord server was deleted, another one of his mods left because of the way he was handling the situation, and he exposed him for deleting comments and blacklisting certain names. Now, if you want a more in-depth look at this whole situation, I recommend watching this video of Hallie's. I'm essentially just using my platform to get this information out there. Keemstar did as well, but I mean... Me, Laura, and Hallie were watching his video as soon as he uploaded, and I mean, at the end of the day, he's falsely accused people of sexual assault, and I'm sure many Lads fans are using that against him. I feel like he needs to come out of someone else's mouth. You know, Keemstar wasn't wrong in what he said, because again, Mini Lad basically admitted on Twitter that everything that happened was true. He also didn't really have the basic information of whether Mini Lad was in the United States or in Ireland. And yes, to answer his question, Craig was in the United States instead of Ireland, more specifically California, where the age of consent is 18. So he did commit a crime. I hope this video at least convinces some people in his fan base, because really it's up to them to decide whether Craig keeps his platform or not.